<laughs> Yo, I'm just chiming in. Um, just to give you a brief intro. The reason why I did start the 3% show is because of my personal life experiences of dealing with um, basically self-sabotaging, um, great moments, low moments. And one day I was truly thinking, um, like we present ourselves of who we want to be portrayed, who sometimes people think that we should be, or, you know, we just go with the flow for the sake of other people. And I realized like, I'm telling 97% of my truth, but the 3% that I don't talk about, you know, if people knew about it, they truly wouldn't think of it, you know? So <clears throat> I started this journey just as um, self-healing. I thought of myself that I'm great at giving advice. I can tell somebody some great information but when it comes time for me to follow my own advice, it's it's a no-go. So all my life I wanted to do broadcast journalism. I wanted to be on KPRS behind Monica Nightingale and all the rest of the great um, uh, broadcasters back home in Kansas City. And as the music changed, <clears throat> I noticed that, you know, the radio used to influence people and give people um, heads up on what's going on in communities, other states, um, music, social issues, social injustices. So my heart and mind has always been in music. On top of that, you know, I like to kick it, I like to have fun, but I've also felt like I've been an empath when I meet people. You know, I just genuinely feel like I have a connection. So the reason why I said people will tell you 97% of the truth is because it's easier. You can see it, you can feel it. It's it's one of those things that it's inside of you and once it's inside of you, you know, it's best to get it out because it's a sickening, it spreads. Or some people literally live with that sickening feeling, including me. Um, I've done it before, I've done it with people, loved ones, um, enemies, um, situations, so. I always say that the 3% that's unseen, unheard, or that you don't know about person that truly dictates the kind of person they are. It truly will dictate your friendship, your relationship, friend, family, loved one, um, even strangers. So, you know, this 3% journey a year and a half later um, is something that I'm very, <clears throat> it's an intimate project for me. I'm still not comfortable in front of the screen. Um, if it was talk radio, I'd be all over it. But um, to be vulnerable is something that I feel is necessary for me. I feel it's necessary for the viewers that I might have or the ones to come. And, um, you know, I always feel like there's too many humans in the world and not enough humane people. Now I've made my mistakes, I own to it. I'll tell anybody. But, um, you know, I'm really excited about this season coming up. Um, some of the content will be civilized. Some of it will be ratchet. Some of it will be an emotional struggle. But um, I pretty much can relate to everything. So that's why I tell people this podcast is not for me necessarily. I just want to give people their flowers. I want to give people a voice that need a voice that's drowned out in the community but I also wanna give people a voice who never thought they have one, that somebody down the street or somebody that's listening might just need to hear that information. So it's gonna be an interesting season. Um, editing will get better. I bought some new equipment. I'm trying to learn how to work that. Uh, waited around for a long time to find a team and I do have a great team and people that believe in me. So thank you. All that believe in me, thank you. But um, it's gonna get a lot better. You know, it's it's going to get a lot better. I'm going to take you on my weight loss journey. I'm going to take you on my travel agency journey. I'm a travel agent now, still at the early stages, but you got to put it into it what you want to get out. Um, I'll be taking you on some trips. I'm finally to the point where I need to travel. That's me. I like to make memories. I like to have a good time. So 
tune in, 3% show, you got it on YouTube. You can catch it on my other one, that's J-A-Y-D-A-V-I number five under J Davis, that's what I go by. And uh, it's gonna be pretty dope. Check it out.